does trying to see why is obesity associated with cancer? And that was a really interesting question to me because I didn't, it didn't make any sense because remember I was taught, I was raised on the genetic paradigm. That's where my medical school training was and so on. So the whole thing is that I was reading this, I realized that, hey, the science had moved way past this genetic paradigm into this evolutionary uh, model, but nobody was talking about it. And I think that what happens is that there's so much money that was pushed into this genetic paradigm. Nobody wants to admit, hey, that's not quite correct. We've moved past that. It wasn't wrong, but it wasn't right either. And we need to push past that. So in fact, when you go to, you know, and I've talked, given talks to like oncologists and stuff, and they don't know anything about it because nobody wants to talk about it. They just want to talk about drugs for treatment. They don't want to think about what causes cancer in the first place, which I think is the most fascinating topic of all. I think it's the most fascinating of all the topics, actually. Um, and and it, it will feed back into why obesity is a risk factor. In fact, one of the biggest risk factors for cancer, which is strange because if you look even back at the 80s, so, so the, the whole obesity diet uh, connection to cancer is hugely problematic for the genetic paradigm because if you eat a bad diet, it doesn't mutate any genes. So if you're saying that it's all due to gene mutation, then, then diet should play zero role, right? Because diets don't mutate genes. It's not mutagenic. So it's hugely problematic. But if you look back at studies from the 1980s, um, they, they, they went back and they said, let's look at what causes cancer. How much can we attribute to each thing? So the biggest risk factor for cancer was smoking by far. It was like 35% of cancer could be attributed to smoking. There was, an, there was a whole bunch of small stuff. So there was, um, you know, radiation and drugs and all that. That's like 2%, 2%. And then there's another huge, huge risk factor, which was about 30% of attributable risk. And that was diet. And nobody wanted to go there. It was like, whoa, okay. We took care of the smoking part. We've had education. We tell people don't smoke. We tell people smoking causes cancer. Like how many people don't know that? Like zero people who smoke don't know that it causes cancer. They just don't care, right? But there's this huge other bucket that's almost as big of attributable risk. And these studies have been replicated over and over and over for the last 30 years of attributable risk. And diet and obesity is that second huge bucket and nobody's talking about it. Why? Because we're all stuck in that genetic paradigm of what causes gene mutations because smoking fits so perfectly into that sort of paradigm. And radiation and some of these other things, right? Radiation exposure and some of the, you know, it's just asbestos exposure and wood dust and all this other stuff. Those are all small, but we're ignoring that giant bucket of dietary obesity because it didn't fit. So nobody talks about it, right? And it's probably due to the growth promoting effects of some of these hormones, which tend to favor, you know, the cancer right? It's all the balance of cancer versus anti-cancer. And if you have a lot of insulin, a lot of growth factors, which comes from your diet, you're pushing up this one, right? And this one stays the same. That's why your risk of cancer goes up, obesity-associated cancers. And obesity-associated cancers are not, um, are not just a little bit. Um, it's like two of the biggest ones are um, breast cancer and colorectal cancer, which is sort of the number two and three cancers in the world, right on behind smoking. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. These studies have been replicated over and over and over for the last 30 years of attributable risk. And diet and obesity is that second huge bucket and nobody's talking about.